It was all good just a week ago. It was all good just a week ago. Now, this week, Deep Divers, apparently you're having conflict conversations. You're arguing with people, people that you love. Has it really come to this, Deep Divers? Now it's escalating. Lives could be lost. No, right? How many times have you had a conflict conversation with someone that you love, that you care about, and you're now arguing with them, saying things you don't really mean, but you're feeling a certain way. I understand. The cat down the road understands. But I want to remind you, it's not worth it. And I'm going to share with you how to resolve conflict conversations before they escalate. Because sometimes we even forget how it all started. Right? Right. <laughs> if you are watching this video, Deep Divers, I want to remind you to never make a permanent decision based on a temporary emotion. It's okay to argue. I argue with the cat down the road all the time. At the same time, I realize that it's all about peace in the end because we've all got to get along, deep divers. <laughs> peace, infinite waters, diving deep once again. Beautiful deep divers. We are out here in the heart of nature. I'm just, breathe with me. Woo! Breathing in all of that. Wait a minute. Woo! Breathing in all of that. Good ass prana, baby. That's better. Take that. Take that. Take that. Good ass energy I'm sending you. Raising the frequency. Raising the vibration. So, are you in the midst of a conflict conversation with someone? But it's someone that you care about. And you're like, oh my gosh, how did it get to this? Well, you see, nature shows us that there are seasons and cycles. Just like there are storms that we see in the world, there are also storms in our interactions with other people. And sometimes pride makes us stubborn to admit, to say, oh, let me say I'm sorry. Let me say I love you. We can't do that because many of us, sometimes we feel a certain way and our ego takes over. I tell you, let love guide you, not fear. Fear is always the ego. Fear keeps you a prisoner. Love sets you free. So I want to remind you, conflict, conflict, conversations that escalate, it can turn ugly. <clears throat> Oh, it can turn ugly. It's not worth it. Be peace. Trust me, it's always worth it. But please, can someone get me some breakfast, deep divers? I'm in Amsterdam and I still haven't had breakfast yet. What? We ain't even had breakfast yet. Can I get a hello? <laughs> One love to you, beautiful deep divers of planet Earth. So let me share with you how to resolve conflict conversations before they escalate. Now, it's amazing how conversations gone bad can escalate to something where lives can be lost. You can see what's happening in the world with Russia and Ukraine, but you can also see what's happening in your life. I'm sure you've had someone close to you where you got into a conflict conversation, things were said, and now you can't take those words back. So I always say to resolve a conflict conversation before it escalates. Don't say something that you don't mean. How many times have you done that, deep divers? Put your hand up. I have. Well, the ancients knew that there were three gates, okay? Three gates. What are the three gates? You see, before you talk to anyone, 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 they must, your words must pass through three gates. The first gate is... Is it true? Is it true, deep divers, though? Is it true? Because how many times have you said untrue things and now people feel even worse, right? So ask yourself, before you talk to anyone, is it true? 
That's the first gate. The second gate is, is it kind? Is it kind though? Is it kind though, right? And the third gate is, is it necessary? Do you really have to bring up their past and use it against them? Isn't that really shitty though? You're in a conversation with someone, it's going badly and you're like, hey, I'm gonna use how they screwed up in the past to attack them, right? That's really shitty though, right? Right. So is it true? Is it kind? Is it necessary? Remind yourself to resolve conflict conversations before they escalate into more beef, okay? Breathe before you talk. I am breathing. No, you're not. You're panting. You're shallow breathing right from the top of your chest. You gotta inhale that good ass prana deep from the base of your spine, like, woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. That brings you clarity. To resolve conflict conversations, there's no place I'd rather be than with the birds, bees, leaves, and trees. Listen, you can hear the sound in nature. So when I come to nature and then I talk to you, I'm gonna be full of so much harmony, so much peace. But check this out. If I've just watched the mainstream media full of lies, it's all a lie. And then I talk to you, I'm going to talk to you in a very horrible way because I'm absorbing horrible energy from the mainstream media, <laughs> full of fear, right? So we've got to remind ourselves to, before we talk to someone, to resolve a conflict conversation, balance your energy first. Pause and reflect. Don't talk when you're angry. Talk when you're in peace. Do not talk to someone when you are angry. Talk to them when you are in peace. Why? Because it's going to be closer to the truth. When you are angry, you're going to say things you don't mean. You're going to, it's going to be ugly. And when you say things that are untrue, you don't know how someone else is going to take it. They might need a year to process what you've just told them. And this is why people, when they have conflict conversations, if they start saying things which are untrue, people may not talk to them for a year, two years, and then it escalates, right? You got people who are 40 saying, hey, I had a conversation with someone when I was 20 and I still haven't gotten over it. And I don't, I don't talk to them anymore, but we were best friends. <laughs> what happened? Nobody knows. I know what happened. You allowed anger to control you. Whoever angers you controls you. Mm. Slow motion this side. Mm. Therefore, you must learn to balance your energy before you talk to anyone. Also, to resolve conflict conversations before they escalate, ask yourself, where is this taking us? Where is this taking us? Where is this taking us? Is it evolving us? Is it helping us become our greatest versions? Or is it keeping us in our lower nature and lower frequencies and vibrations? Ain't nobody got time for that. Wait a minute, I've just spent 60 minutes here talking to you about nothing. We're just going back and forth. What is the point? So you have to learn to take the higher ground and say, I love you, right? Learn to apologize. This is how to resolve conflict conversations. Don't be too big to say sorry, pardon? Do not be too big to say sorry, I love you, let's make peace. That is the most honorable thing you can do and it's gonna take you to do it because they may not do it, so you have to do it. Take the higher ground and say, you know what? Let's just make peace because deep down we, we love each other. And like I told you, even in the world with Russia and Ukraine, they come from the same place genetically. But more than that, it's one humanity. We all come from Ethiopia. Your great, 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 great grandmother is called Lucy. <laughs> to resolve conflict conversations, as a psychologist, I'll tell you this. Do not text people and argue with them because there is the 73855 rule. Okay. Only 7% of communication is the spoken word. 38% is the tone of voice and 55% is body language. So what is text? Communication is like 
0.005% of communication. Why? Because it's interpreted in a totally different way. And a lot of people argue, with, they argue with each other on social media in texting emojis, but it escalates because it's not real communication. It's better to pick up the phone because that's 38% of communication. FaceTime, meet me outside, that's even better. Meet me face to face, let's talk about it. Take off the gloves, let's talk about it. And what you will see is that when you are in the midst of someone, you're gonna see their body language. You can say, look, let's find a peaceful solution. That is gonna convey so much more emotion than just texting, okay? So meet someone, stop texting. You know, texting and emojis are destroying, they're destroying relationships. And this is why conflict conversations are happening because people are in, interpreting things differently. Like this emoji, which is hugs, can be seen in two different ways. Like it can be sarcastic, like na 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 na, or it can be like, you don't know, you don't know what it means. Oh my gosh. <laughs> to resolve conflict conversations, deep divers, remind yourself, your time is precious, your energy is precious, and you could be doing something else. Don't waste time on something not taking you anywhere. Be in your heart space, say, hey, right now I've got things to do. And you should always be focused on evolution, going to a higher place, going to a higher state of consciousness. And you gotta say, hey, if you're not helping me evolve, you're a distraction, okay? And then you'll just say, feel so good to be alive, baby. Can I get a hello there? Once again, never make a permanent decision with a temporary emotion. Cool down, breathe. Woo! Breathing in that good ass prana, baby. Shout out to everyone who's been getting the wonderful good ass prana shirts at ralphsmart.com slash clothes and spreadshirt.com if you're in America. And if you're a sexy ass model, woo! With a whole lot of heart who wants to model the clothing, well, go and buy some, okay? Add me on Instagram for more daily inspiration at Ralph Smart, at Infinite Waters, and Facebook at Ralph Smart, at Infinite Waters, and Snapchat is that. Good ass prana, baby. Check out the new book, Deep Divers, for more powerful, life-changing information just like this. Feel Alive by Ralph Smart on Amazon and at ralphsmart.com slash the book. To resolve conflict conversations before they escalate, learn to see that there are two sides to a coin, two sides to a story. Learn to see it from their point of view as well. It's not about you being right and them being wrong, it's about meeting each other halfway and saying, oh, each one of us has a point, but right now we have to focus on peace. And remind yourself to have compassion. Remind yourself to be in a love frequency. I love all of you deep divers. Please don't allow conversations to escalate because really you're arguing about nothing, nothing. Even the cat down the road is laughing at you. What are you arguing about? because they, they didn't call you back. Gosh, I love all of you deep divers. Have a beautiful day. Peace. Infinite waters, diving deep once again. Stay well, stay healthy, peace. You, so beautiful out here deep divers. Breathe in all of that peace, let's go. Woo, breathing in all of that peace deep divers, ending conflict resolutions. Leave a comment down below, Deep Divers of Love and Appreciation, and let me know how you end conflict conversations so they don't escalate into World War III, okay? Okay, peace. <laughs>